So, race 28 brings us to Stratford and our first of our three hunter chases to decide the hunter king. The first one's over two miles, two and a half furlongs. Marjorie Knife, Davy Land is top of the pile. Mariska Sharp for Martin Leader, Argentina for Paul O'Neill, Tenable Express for David Robertson, Bun Ratty for Daniel French, Eleanor Rigby for Martin Leader, Glenn Dew for Alex Cherry, thanks for James Shea, Carl Rare for Thomas Rogers, Lucky Boo for Alex Cherry, Bulletproof for Daniel French, Jaffa and Iron for Ryan Costello, Sun Gal for Derek Hinton, Eruption for Craig Beckwith, Corners Val also for Derek Hinton, Castle Town Boy for Ryan Costello, and Salanches for Thomas Rogers makes up 17. Looking to challenge Martin. Oh, he's got a, a one-win lead over Daniel French going into this one. And they've got three races to decide who will be King of the Hunter. Alex Cherry would need to win all three just to get into second position. He's in four at the moment as we finally get round to the start. There's a grandstand here at Stratford. And here we go. They're away and racing. This lucky boo that comes streaming out of the pack. Need them as they swing left handed here. So it's lucky boo from some gal. Most of the pack all shuffling and jostling for position. It's lucky boo that's going to lead them into the first of the 11 fences they'll have to take here. From some gal in second, and the grey eruption. He's outside Jaffa and Iron, inside his Tenable Express. The Wall of Horses will finally get to the first fence. There it is, and they're all over it. Oh no, we lost Argentina there, unseated his rider. Lucky to Mr. O'Neill. One down. They race on up to the second. It's Lucky Boo that leads them over it. Let's try and get over it well. So it's Lucky Boo from some gout. Jaffanine in eruption, and a length back to Fanks and Salanches against the fences. Eleanor Rigby for Martin Leader on the outside of those Castle Town boys. We get to the third. No mistakes there. A bit slow over it was Bum Ratty towards the rear. It's still being led by Lucky Boot. A couple of lengths to some gal. Jaffanine's moved into third on his own now from eruption in fourth. Then look Fanks and Eleanor Rigby. Castle Town boy, Salanches blend you out wide in between those Tenable Express. Stream over the fourth. Better jumpers from mid pack there. And just towards the rear is Marjorie Narnia. Nice to shark up against the fence in the orange. Corners Val. Out widest of all. Fun ratty and bulletproof. As they go past the grandstand. Let's go around one more time. There's the winning post. Leading the apple tree motorhome hunters chases Lucky Boo from Sun Gow and Jaffa and I in the eruption in fourth. And Eleanor Rigby, Glen Dew in between those is Thanks. On the through by Castle Town Boy and St. Lanches. A poor jump there by the leader, bit of a mistake. Lost his momentum. He's allowed up some gal to get within a half a length. That's why there's eruption in Jaff and Iron now. And just a length back to St. Lanches, Eleanor Rigby, Thanks. They approach the next. Lucky Boo gets over there a little bit better. Steady on. We've lost one at the rear. It's Corners Foul for Dale Hinton that's gone. Take the seventh. We'll get over that. Just towards the rear now is Marjorie. Nani has got caught for pace. The top weight. But it's still Lucky Boo that leads us. Side the seven now from Jaffa and Iron in second. Some gals moved up into third. Eruption is fourth. Now wide is Sal Inches and then Rigby pushing through his Mariska Sharp in the orange up against the fences. Tenable Express. It's Lucky Boo being ridden along again. Taking advantage. Just four to take now. It's Lucky Boo from Jaff and Iron. Tenable Express has moved up now. We go over the eighth. Well, three to jump. It's Lucky Boo still. Leads us from Salanches out wide. Tenable Express between horses of Jaff and Iron up against the fence. Wider still is Eleanor Rigby pushing through now is some gal again. But it's Lucky Boo that leads them over the ninth with just two left to jump. It's Lucky Boo being challenged now by Salanches pushing through is some gal and Tenable Express. Widest of all running on well is Glen Dew. So it's Lucky Boo now. Lucky Boo inside the three as they go over the penultimate. It's Lucky Blue from Glen Dew on his outside. We've lost Mariska Shark there but it's Lucky Boo and Glen Dew 
you it's the two Alex Jerry sources with Solanches in between running on well we said Eleanor Rigby we're down to the final half mile and it's Glenn Dew and Lucky Boo Lucky Boo pushes on again Glenn Dew seems to be treading water Solanches they get over the last slow from the leader and on the wide outside is Eleanor Rigby Eleanor Rigby starts to nose in front from Lucky Boo gives way eruption on his inside so Eleanor Rigby inside the final half final half of furlong and it's Eleanor Rigby Eleanor Rigby from eruption eruption on the inside eruption's just got a little bit more and it's eruption that's going to take this eruption takes it from Eleanor Rigby in second third was Glenn Dew fourth was Tenable Express and Martin Leedham almost got a winner there but it was taken eruption we also lost thanks in the last couple of fences so it's a win I think for Craig Beckwith with the eruption from Eleanor Rigby in second Glenn Dew in third and Tenable Express was fourth Running on for fifth was not too sure. So Lanches maybe. I'll wait for the car to come up. So it is Craig Beckwith. Well done with eruption. Second was Eleanor Rigby for Martin Lidham. Third was Glenn Dew for Alex Cherry. Fourth was Tenderboy Express for David Adam. Fifth was Solanches for Thomas Rogers. So no change at the top of the leaderboard. Martin still leads by one going into the next.